Hey guys, welcome back to Lifestyle of the Plebe and Nameless. I'm Joan. And I'm Coco. We recently took a trip to Costco in Houston and we decided to try out their Asian selection. We picked out seven items to try. We can't wait to review it for you guys. If it's your first time here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We do lots of food adventures and food reviews. Join us so you don't miss our next video. Okay, we got our cart full of stuff. Let's get cooking. The first thing we're trying is shrimp wonton dumpling soup. It's $17.49 and it comes with six bowls. And I think that's a good price, but we'll see how it tastes. Shrimp wonton ramen is so popular in Hong Kong. I'm excited to see if they capture the essence. The instructions say to add water, just let it microwave for two minutes, take it out, stir it, and then microwave again for two and a half to three minutes. It came with five dumplings. That's a pretty good amount. They're filled with shrimp. I'm ready to bite into it, see. Mm. Has a good flavor. The noodles are very al dente, like they're very chewy. The noodles, they said, is made with pumpkin puree in the flour. So that kind of makes it extra healthy, I think. The broth I just tasted, it's really good. It's very light, not heavy at all. I think they did capture the essence of Hong Kong wonton dumplings pretty well. Yeah, like not too much seasoning and just let the natural flavors come through. Even the wonton skin, it's not too bad. The shrimps are really springy. This is very good for microwave wonton noodles. Mm -hmm. And it has these vegetables. It's called yao choy in Chinese. And they're a nice and green color. Very fresh looking. I think it's rare to see like Chinese vegetables like being frozen. Because most people like it fresh, you know? Yeah. But these taste not too bad. It would make a really nice healthy lunch or dinner. I'd just eat this for breakfast. And one cup is only 230 calories. Wow, the whole bowl? Yes. For all the flavors that come through, mm. you have to get this. Out of 10 for me, I give this like an 8 out of 10. Yeah, same thing for me. I'm a coffee cat. <laughs> <laughs> the next one is a really popular Costco Asian food item. It's the BBGO steamed dumplings and they have chicken and vegetables in them. From first glance, they look like soup dumplings almost. And they come six trays with six dumplings each. So you get a total of 36 dumplings. Take out one of the trays with the plastic wrap on it and you just put it in the microwave for two minutes. Let the package sit for a minute before removing it. It smells so good. Yeah. Very fragrant. I smell their chicken and they look so cute. Aww. Look at them. Little baby dumplings. And it also comes with this dipping sauce. The dipping sauce is made of soy sauce, chili pepper, vinegar, and a little sugar. Very classic for dumplings. So I'm gonna dip in this dipping sauce first. Mmm. Mm. I really like it. The sauce is really good with it. The chicken is so juicy. Mm -hmm. And the vegetables are like not overpowering at all. No, I do get the crunch of the cabbage. I can see why this is a popular one. And the wrapper, it's not too thick and not too thin. I think it's the perfect thickness. For like only two minutes, two to three minutes in the microwave. Yeah. This is really good mm -hmm. and an easy meal. The sauce pairs really well with it because you get that slight sweetness mm -hmm. from it and a little bit of tanginess. I think it's pretty decent, like restaurant level. Like if I went to someone's house and they served me this, especially if it's like an Asian grandma's house. I always thought, oh, okay, mm -hmm. your grandma made this, it's so good. I would be fooled. I would rate this a nine out of 10. I think the flavor in there is so good. It's a little bit more flavorful than the shrimp dumpling mm -hmm. wontons. I give it a nine as well. And I would definitely repurchase this. Yeah. We're gonna try pho next. I love Vietnamese pho. So I have high expectations for this. I've seen it out at Costco for a long time and I've always wanted to try it. It comes with nine bowls. Just looking from the picture though, the noodles look a little bit different. From traditional pho? Yeah. Yeah, it looks a little thicker. So we'll see how it tastes. Pour all the packets into the bowl except for the flavoring oil and fill cold water to the line. Microwave for two minutes and let it stand for one minute. At the very end, we're gonna drizzle the flavoring oil and stir it well. It smells really good. I smell the beefiness of the broth. And a little bit of like chili spiciness from the oil that's drizzled on top. All right, first bite. Mm. I like it. I even taste the crunch of the little seasoning packet with the uh, vegetables. 
The noodles aren't too bad. It's actually not like a thick noodle. It's a thin noodle. Following the instruction cooking time, it doesn't come out mushy at all. It's still got the springiness to the noodle. The broth to me though, is just kind of eh. It's not like restaurant quality. Yeah. But like for instant ramen, I guess it's like decent. This will do on a cold winter day. But I think I kind of like this better than the Sam's Instant Pho. This one is like slightly a little bit spicier than that one because it has like that hot oil on top. It's not very spicy to me though. It's still like a mild kind of spicy. All you have to do is add an egg or some sliced beef in there. Yeah. And you have a whole meal. I think for me, I give this like a six out of 10. I'd give it a seven. I could see myself craving this if I'm wanting pho and I can't get to a pho place. I'd be like, okay, let's throw this in the microwave. <laughs> I would buy this. Mm, I'd pass. <laughs> <laughs> the next thing that we're gonna try are these beef bogobi mandu. These are again from BBGo. I was so excited whenever we saw these at Costco. We're like, beef bulgogi? Like those are so delicious. Marinated meat and grilled on a stove. And in a dumpling form, wow. they got me with that. Pan fry this in a nonstick pan for about eight minutes. And we're gonna turn on each side every couple of minutes or so, just making sure that everything's golden brown. And it's ready. I think I did a good job. She did. Looks nice and golden brown on all sides. The oil was splattering me and then Coco was just further away and then just trying to use zoom feature on the camera. Pretty much. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> they smell so good. She got the wrapper nice and crunchy. Mm -hmm. I guess in more time. <laughs> That's what they do. <laughs> I don't know. Die kenne ich nicht. I like how light their wrapper is. So that you could pan fry it and it's like crispy instantly. Never had a bulgogi dumpling before. You can see the bulgogi on the inside. It's so good. And it also has the glass noodles in there. And then you get a slight crunch from the veggies again. I can see some cabbage and mm -hmm. onion. It's like a little bit sweet too. It's like sweet and savory. I can see why this didn't come with a dipping sauce because you don't need any. You don't need a dipping sauce. This whole sauce. thing is flavorful. Because the bulgogi beef itself is marinated, so it's so good. Mm. The pack itself comes with 40 dumplings. And the dumplings are such a good size. And the whole bag was only $11.49. That's a good price. Y'all need to try this. This is really good. I would 10 out of 10 go back and get this again. Look at this. So juicy. It was dripping down my face. <laughs> I rate this a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 for me as well. Which one do you like better, this one or the chicken? I like this dumpling more. They're so much bigger, the dumplings. Mm -hmm. The chicken one, they were really cute. But these pack so much flavor into one dumpling. And there's so much meat in there too. Yeah. Plus, I like the fact that you pan fry it so you get the crunch. It's so <laughs> satisfying. Okay, next up, we're going off of the meals and coming to the snacks. We got Korean barbecue pork jerky. I'm still thinking about the Korean barbecue we had last week. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. If you haven't seen that video, we'll link it up here in this corner for you. We ate Korean barbecue at a ventless, smokeless, charcoal grill restaurant. Ooh. There's so much in here. It's a whole 14.5 ounce of it. So you get almost a whole pound of pork turkey. It does smell like Korean barbecue. It's very tender. It tastes the brown sugar. It's got the sweetness and the savory of the soy sauce. I smell the fragrance of the sesame oil too. I think I would rebuy this again. It's just great snack food for whenever you're watching TV and you just want to take like another bite, another bite, another bite. <laughs> Pretty soon your whole bag is gone. I would probably give this a seven out of 10. I would do the same. I think I like it more compared to regular, what is it, what, is it, what are they called? Slim Jim? Yeah, how do they compare? I feel like this one has like better texture of like real meat. Yeah, I think the quality of this meat is really nice. Like it's actually strips of pork. Mm -hmm. You can see it's not like all mushy kind of meat. And then the taste and flavor does remind me of Korean barbecue sauce. Definitely try this. If you're a beef jerky fan, pork jerky fan, give this Korean barbecue jerky a try. Okay, let's move on to something sweet. 
we got the brown sugar boba milk tea mochi. Whenever I saw these, I was like, we have to get these. Yeah. I love boba and I love mochi. <laughs> she literally squealed. She was like, yes, we're getting that. So this bag comes with 60 of them. At first glance, it looks like a really good deal. I mean, I still think it is, but I took it out of the packet and the mochi balls are so small. They're like the size of an eyeball. Yeah, like you see this picture and it's huge, but then you get like this tiny little thing in here. I mean, just look at this. Yeah, size of an eyeball. <laughs> I smell the brown sugar. Yeah, it's like heavily brown sugar. You can see the boba in the center as advertised. Honestly, I can't really tell the difference between the mochi and then the tapioca. It's very similar. Yeah, it's super similar. So what she means is the mochi is on the outside. That's that outside wrapper. And then the tapioca pearl, which is the boba, is in the center. And they both have the same kind of texture. They're both sticky. I think that tastes like a slight chocolatiness inside of this too. I think it's because of the brown sugar. Mm. It's a good snack. Not bad. It's like candy, you know? Mm -hmm. Like if you're craving something sweet. They also said that you can freeze them if you want a cold treat. So I placed these in the freezer for a couple hours. So okay. let's give it a try and see if it's better. So this one's been frozen. I think it's just a little tougher to eat. <laughs> I kind of like it more at room temperature. I think I like it more frozen actually. Okay. I feel like the frozen version is not as sweet as the room temperature one. Like it lightens up the sweetness a little bit for me. I rate this overall a five out of 10. I think I still give it a six out of 10. Like it's nothing too like out of this world for me. But if you like brown sugar though, this might be a mochi for you. Cause personally, I think I prefer like a black sesame or like a matcha flavored mochi. Our last food item today is the Japanese cheesecake. I have always wanted to try Japanese cheesecake because they're supposed to be like a light fluffy kind of cheesecake unlike the American ones where it's like dense. But they're always so expensive in the bakeries. Mm. So as soon as I saw this one, it came with two of these for $14. Mm -hmm. I thought this was such a good deal. So we grabbed it. So it comes frozen and before you eat it, you will need to defrost it either overnight in the fridge or just let it sit in the room temperature. If you prefer a warm cheesecake, which we will also try, we'll put it in the microwave after it defrosts for about 20 to 30 seconds. I don't see it jiggling. Yeah, I don't either. It says on the box it's supposed to jiggle a little bit, but we will try it. Oh, it looks very like airy and light. Yeah. Not your typical cheesecake for sure. But I smell like light cheese though. Mmm. Okay. Having never had Japanese cheesecake before, I would describe this as a cross between cheesecake and cake. Like a cheesy cake. And then like undercooked cake. It like, doesn't taste undercooked. Like a little bit like cake batter, you know? It tastes very light and fluffy. Not as dense as regular cheesecake. Yeah. And it's not too sweet either. No, I think it's got the perfect amount of sweetness. Hmm. I could eat this. I could eat like the whole thing without getting sick of it. And you know what this would taste really good with, I think? Hmm. Ice cream. Oh yeah. Or if you have some like fruit syrup, like blueberry syrup, mm. drizzle some of this on there. Mm, it would be heaven. I'm a fan of this. I'm already done with mine. <laughs> Let's try it warm now. So I heated this up in the microwave and I think it's probably too strong or what and deflated a little bit. Actually, uh -oh. it deflated quite a bit. All the air came out of it. So let's try it. No, I prefer it cold. Yeah, me too. <laughs> this tastes like cooked eggs. Like it's too dense, this one. Like it's not fluffy at all. It doesn't even taste like a cheesecake anymore. But overall, I really like the cheesecake that you just let it sit for in room temperature. I think I'd give it like a nine out of 10. I give it an eight out of 10. 
I think you could even use it as a birthday cake, honestly, and just decorate it on the outside. Oh, that's true. Since it comes two, you could stack them up. Two layers. Yeah. I really enjoyed all of the Asian foods that Costco has to offer. Yeah, next time you're in the store, go pick up some of those things. You won't be disappointed. If you enjoyed watching our video, please give us a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button to follow us for more food videos. And don't forget to ring that notification bell to get all of the updates from our channel. You can find us on Instagram and TikTok at Leave a Nameless. We have lots of exclusive content for you there. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time on Lifestyle of the Plebe and Nameless. Bye! Ah! <laughs>